What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Thomas Creek Brewery in Greenville, South Carolina. This is Class 5 IPA. Uh, notes from the brewery. A citrusy and crisp, fully hopped American India Pale Ale, brewed for the true hop head. The bold hop varietals and dry hopping of Willamette and Centennial will make you want to take on Class 5 Rapids any day of the week. This beer checks in at 5.5% ABV and 87 IBU. All right, let's go ahead and pour this beer and check it out. So about fingers worth of head on top of kind of soap bubbly as I look at it on top. Uh, hanging around, I can see bubbles shooting up through the through the glass, so the, the head's hanging around a good bit. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a sip. Plenty of pine and plenty of dank notes as well. The hops are uh, really coming through in those ways. The the citrus, it talks about being a, a pretty citrusy uh, IPA, American IPA. The, the citrus is there. It's it's kind of uh, taking a back seat. But it hits you hard with a uh, hit you hard with a whole lot of dankness. The bitterness is moderate. Not um it's certainly present, but it's not overpowering. It's 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 close to overpowering, but it's not overpowering. Maybe that bitterness is ramping up as I'm drinking it a little bit more. Um, Body-wise, I would call it medium. Medium, maybe maybe pushing a like a moderately high body, moderately heavy body. The uh, the, the the citrus. And it's really mostly just orange, maybe a little bit of grapefruit. It's coming through really in the back half of the, the beer for me. And um, and yeah, it's the, the bitterness is indeed ramping up. It's it's actually starting to come, very much come forward for, for my palate. Uh, starting to overtake the, the pine notes, the citrusy notes, the dank notes. I think a whole lot of earthiness as well is kind of blended in with that bitterness. So a really, really complex hop flavor profile. I uh, mentioned the Willamette and Centennial hops. Uh, they also use Magnum Cascade and uh, Styrian, Aurora, Styrian Aurora. So a whole lot of hop varietals going on in this beer. Uh, makes for a really, really complex hop profile. Uh, very much a hop head beer, though. But again, the bitterness ramping up. It's... Hasn't really. I find that uh, bitterness in IPAs really ramps up as they warm. This one hasn't even warmed up that much. I just poured it out of the bottle, as you saw, and um, but bitterness is really, really coming on strong as I drink it about maybe a third of the way through it. And that bitterness is really, really coming on right now. A whole lot of bitterness. So, um, as I said, it's a hopheads beer. If that's your thing, I would uh, very much encourage drinking this. Uh, if you're not so much of a hop head, especially if it's called an American IPA, I find those typically tend to be a little less hoppy, but this is much, much closer to the traditional IPA in my view. And uh, if that's not really your thing, probably beer to stay, stay clear of, but if you are big on hops, uh, I would recommend this beer. Uh, you can check out video and written reviews of over 250 different beers, along with news and commentary, all at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. All those links are in the description below. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.